Okay, I think we're going live. There you go. Hi everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to design right in the Printful platform and how to upload things straight into Etsy. If you have not already um, started, Hi everybody, it is let me Margaret mute this, of course, there's always going to be something. There we go. Um, if you have not yet started designing and uploading to Printful and Etsy, it might be something you consider. And I'm gonna show you in this video how easy it is. Even if you feel like you're not a designer, um, this might be something for you to consider. I am live, so if you're watching this later and you're interested in catching me live for some of the Q&A or for Merch Talk, um, where you can come in into the chat and ask questions, then go down there and hit subscribe and hit the little bell next to it. And I do have Debbie and Yong. Hi, 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 Thrifty Rabbit. Thanks for coming, you guys. Um, as I was saying, even if you're not on merch, even if you're not, even if you don't feel like you're a designer, and believe me, this was the last thing I ever thought I was going to do. I finally did it because Yang and Joe um, really peer pressured me into it and kept pushing and telling me how easy it was. And now I've seen the light. I never, 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 never in a million years would have thought that I would be someone creating shirts. I won't call myself a graphic designer at all, but the fact that I can create designs and shirts and sell them on merch and print, um, Etsy and Printful. Um, I've been doing this for two and a half years, and while my, my um, income fluctuates, and I tell you this just to kind of let you know that if you're watching new and you're like, who, why should I listen to you? Um, you know, my, my income on merch fluctuates based on how much work I put into it, but it is, it's anywhere from 300 bucks to two, almost 2000 bucks at my highest month, um, per month, pardon me. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about that, definitely do these three things. Um, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures and join um, Merch University on Facebook as well, because we have lots of great discussions in the group for print-on-demand, merch by Amazon, and um, Etsy and Printful. So let's get started. Hi, hi. And if you guys have questions as I go, please um, ask them in the chat. But I wanted to do this, especially for my friends that don't feel like they're comfortable with merch or maybe they are not really interested in getting into merch, but this is just another way to create a, a supplemental income. Uh, it really is fairly, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Passive income, right? So really passive. I mean, I have been moving and I haven't uploaded a shirt in about two months, but I'm still getting revenue from my sales on merch and Printful because of all the work I put into it um, prior, front loaded all of this work, and now it's just kind of riding. <clears throat> so, um, real quick, if you are new and you're interested, I'm going to be showing you just how to design in Printful. But if you're new, uh, Make Merch is no way. Make Merch is a platform where you can design right in there. Um, they've got all the fonts that are that are okay to use. They've got images and filters and all this awesome stuff. I'm not going to be playing with it today, but I just wanted to put it out there. If you're like uh, like me, I was really really. Um, hesitant to start Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, which I finally did, but if that is something that scares the, the tarnation out of you, then, then Make Merch is definitely a site for you. Um, and I've got tutorials on, and walkthroughs on, of me using that, that you can, um, I can link it. And then uh, I have a link down below to join if that's something you're interested in. And also doing research on what kind of shirts, if you're interested in that, then Merch Informer is a really great platform for that. So go over there and take a look. So let's jump in to Printful. Uh, Delinda, is Printful the best app to use? Well, I, pr I like Printful because I'm really comfortable with Etsy. I like the options on Printful. Um, and I haven't seen as much success. Uh, I know a lot of people use Teespring and Redbubble. And I've got, I've got accounts on those, but I'm not really active with them. So I really like the ease of Printful in Etsy. So absolutely, Frox and Friends, make merch is the best. It's so easy. Yeah, my kids use it too. That's it's that easy. Okay, so here's what I'm going to show you. So this is my Printful dashboard, and this is the I have a few different dashboards because I have one that's sort of like a 
Margaret Lab, Texas Gal Lab for when I'm sharing and doing tutorials. So the shop that I show you, most of the shirts in there and designs are ones that I've done videos for. So it's like, you already have seen the shirts I've created in those videos, so I'm not giving away all my secrets, right? Okay, so today um, we are going to create a shirt. So here's my dashboard, and of course, what does the cat do? Starts playing with something loud. So I'm going to um, add a product to my store. This is where I came. Um, and I'm going to just do a women's tank top. I don't do a whole lot of just straight t-shirts. For, unless it's very varied colors, but I don't do a lot of, because I do a lot of t-shirts on merch. But if you're wanting to, then definitely do t-shirts. So I'm going to do a tank top, which I thought I clicked on, but maybe I, I didn't. Let me see. I want to do a tank top. Here we go, tank top. And I'm going to do the racer back because it's a fairly popular um, shirt. And so I'm going to come down here and select all the colors. Let me know. I just select all colors. Let me know if if I'm going too fast or not fast enough. Hang on, I'm trying to get it where it's a little bigger so you can see the screen better. Okay, let me get this over here so I can see if any questions pop up. So I've, I've selected all the colors. Sometimes there'll be a little um, pop up down here if certain sizes and colors are not available and it won't get pushed through, that's fine. Um, so if you were going to upload your design, you would come over here and upload. But I'm coming over here to text, add text. So in Printful, you can create, you know, shirt, pillow, whatever, and just create a text-based shirt right here in the program. Um, so we're going to do that. And it says here, add clip art coming soon. So that's not here yet. So, okay, what kind of shirts could we create, right? I was just thinking of um, hobby names, right? So somebody who has a weird hobby name um, that if you put it on a shirt, somebody might see it and be like, what is that, right? So I was thinking, and this is because I used to collect this, so I know what this is, is a philatelic. Um, so I was going to do a shirt for a philatelic, philatelic, and I always say it wrong, philatelic. Okay, so let me do it all caps, how about that? Philatelic. Uh, bonus points in the chat if you can tell me what that is. What, what is that a person, what hobby is that? Philatelic. Did I spell that correctly? Let's go double check and, and then close it so you don't see. Ah, okay, we're good. All right. So here you can see I've got my shirt <laughs> with this philatelic on it. Um, I, if I move it around, it will show me the print area so I can make it bigger, smaller. I can move it up on the shirt if I want it up higher or lower. <laughs> oh yeah, I, yeah, text-based stuff can sell really well. Now the cool thing here is now I can select different colors. Now here's the thing, you've gotta watch, is whatever color you choose going to look good on all the different color shirts? So I can come through and say, oh, maybe not on white and take it off if I wanted to. I'm just gonna leave it for now. So here I've got it in yellow. Nope, it's not stones. <laughs> um, but I can change the, the font to something else because there's lots of different fonts in here. Obviously, this is something that would be okay because it's on their platform, so it's okay to use. Yes, you got it, Stacy. Stamp collecting. So Philatelic is a person who is a stamp collector. Um, yep, there we go. Okay, so I can decide if this is a font I like. Let me... I'm zooming it in. I don't know. It makes it kind of hard to read. So zoom back out. I did not really... I want to make sure that it's easy to read, clear, you know, because if I do it, you know, like this, nobody's going to be able to read that, right? Um, so it, depending on what it is, don't get too cute with your, um, your fonts because you want it to be... Now, part of the problem here is I also have it all caps, so that might be affecting it. Black Ops, Philatelic, how's that? And I can make it bigger. Um, oops, I hit the wrong button. How do we think? Let me choose a black one and see how it looks. Black. Uh, okay, I'm not happy with that. Maybe I should have played with it before. <laughs> Concert one, how do you look? That looks okay. Maybe we make that a little bigger. Can it go bigger? There we go. All right, so there we go. Um, big enough just for somebody to read it and say, what is that? You know, what does that mean? Let me make it. See, I'm going to try to make it as big as I can to fill up the, the space. So there we have it. Philatelic. Easy peasy, right? Okay. 
So now I'm going to click the proceed to mockups where it's going to give me the options for what it's going to look like. There it is. Proceed to description. And now on Etsy, you want to make sure that you have, you're writing it like the person, the buyer is going to type it or read it or whatever. So I'm going to start with philatelic. Uh oh, not all caps, please. Um, did I miss something in the chat? Hang on. Uh, we have to have an Etsy store set up first, then do for, yes, and I have tutorials where it's um, from start to finish, setting up the Etsy, setting up the printful, the integration, the whole shebang um, that I can link. I meant to say that earlier, but I have videos um, for that. I've got a playlist with all of that in it. Okay, so um, here I'm going to write my title, philatelic um, tank top stamp collector uh, tank uh, geeky workout clothes and what else? I could come back and add more um, as well. Easy peasy, that's right. So then I, I personally like to copy my title first thing, you know, for like Google search um, and then just a quick description if you collect stamps or oh, just love to lick them. I don't know. They're not going to lick stamps anymore. Uh, this philatelic shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. This t-shirt is for you. There we go. Okay, so then I go down here. Um, I can have my sizes in imperial and in metric if I want. And then I'll do my, well, I guess I can do my tags here. So the tags are going to be for search engine optimization. You know what? I'll show you that in Etsy, on the Etsy platform. Um, oh, totally, Debbie. You can totally do that. So proceed to pricing. I generally leave the pricing as is. I haven't had too much of a problem with that. I know some people have said, like, especially on the baby onesies, um, long sleeve baby onesies are 25 bucks and people are, are surprised at people buying people buy them they do um, I as a per mother probably would not buy my child $25 onesie but as gifts people give onesies you know grandma grandpa they're just buying one right so uh, yeah pardon me okay so generally I leave it as is but if you wanted to drop the price down you could let's say oh, I want my profit to be at least five bucks right so I want my profit to be five bucks and it, it adjusts all of these here. So your profit is five bucks. And then sections, I have sections on all my stops. So um, you have to set this up in Etsy tank tops. Submit to store. Okay, so it's sending it over to my Etsy store. Here's my Etsy store that it's going to Texas Gal Designs. And I'm going to come over to my shop manager and see if it is there. Listings, yes. And it should be in drafts because it sends it straight into draft. So let's take a look at my draft. Is it there yet? Let's see. My let's do my latest. Oh, these are some that I haven't finished up with yet. Oh dear, it's not there yet. Why isn't it there yet? Hmm. Did I send it to the wrong one? Oh, it's still going. That's why. Okay. Let me check the chat while it's sending. Um, do they offer plus size options? I think on some of them they do because I've ordered. Like on the, on the um, yes, I'm a plus size gal. Um, on the three quarter sleeve shirts, like the baseball style shirts, um, they definitely have plus size options. Um, do I still collect stamps? I, I don't like I used to, but I still have all my stamps that I collected. Um, I don't know, I like them. <laughs> I don't know. So, okay, it's still loading, it's still sending, it may be my Wi Fi's. Um, so, one of the things I was looking at, you know, if you were, look at this site, it's acting funky. If you were wanting, like, I was looking up other, you know, weird hobby names, so strange hobby names, you know, there's buffering, you know, sorry, I can't, I'm buffering this weekend, something like that, you know, or, which is <clears throat> mock medieval combat, right? Or sorry, I can't, I'm bird watching this weekend, sorry, I can't, spelunking, or numis, numismatics, I am numis. There must be a better word for that. Numismaticing this weekend. I can't. I'm deltoyologying this weekend. 
Yeah, you got to find out what it's called for the person, right? Uh, so yeah, just, I mean, you could do that. You could, anything. And then I just, while it's still loading, is it still loading? Let's see, still loading. Um, if you're not sure if what you're putting up there is trademarked or not, then you can come over to TM Hunt. So let's type in philatelic while it's loading and see if this is a word that is trademarked for shirts. So it's not. Um, so like, just do it. Let's just so you can see, just do it is trademarked search you know set to live just do it yeah see so it'll pop up it is trademarked so you cannot use that um but that's just as an example okay so this is still loading this was a uh, unexpected i thought it would be like lickety split so which site is what um the tm hunt where i'm checking the trademarks tm hunt is the trademark checker site and click on split search because then it groups all the words together. If you do multi-search um, or what, yeah, just do split search because then it decides like these two words together. Are you looking at my 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 Etsy as Texas Gal Designs? Yeah. So this is still loading. Um, well, okay. Now this is not what I expected. It's usually really quick as far as that goes. So. We'll just, why don't we look at my shop <laughs> while we wait? So my son created, I can talk to you about where I created some of these shirts. Some of them you've seen before from, from videos I've done. This one with the little kitten in space my son did on, on Make Merch. Um, this funky tooth, uh, my patriotic tooth, that one I did on Make Merch. Most of these, a lot of these are on Make Merch. My, my Zen sloth and kitties, those are on Make Merch. The bee, oh, where did I do the bee? I can't remember. Um, but my rainbow trilobite, I did partially in Lunapic. I have a video on Lunapic as well. Uh, golly gee, golly gee, it's still loading. So, I'm looking in the chat. Okay, so, where did I learn about the sites for, tr for trademarks art? I'm not quite sure. Where did you learn about these sites for trademarks, art, etc.? Like, like um, TM Hunt. It's just from being in the, the different groups. Um, so TM Hunt is one that I'd heard about. If you want to go straight to the source, you can go to. Um, oh gosh, it's not the USPTO. That's the one I always look at. Um, USPTO.gov. Right there. That is the government trademark site. And so if you want to search on the government bait, um, website, you could do that. I'm, I'm, let me know if I'm not answering your question quite like I, like you're wanting. I don't know. I haven't done it over here in so long. <laughs> oh, how, um, just from talking to all the guys, you know, uh, Thelma's asking, in the chat, how did I become knowledgeable on all this stuff? I, and again, this was, this is all not something that I thought I would ever get into, but um, with Joe and Young and Glenn, Zubia, with all of us talking, still learning. Um, yeah, just they really pushed, pushed, pushed in the early days to get me to, to get started on it. And then as these different sites started popping up, we would, you know, play around with the different ones. And people would say, hey, have you seen this site? Go check it out. It's really good. And then you just start hearing that buzz. Um, the two main groups that I'm in as far as merch and stuff are... Um, Merch Minds, which is Glenn and Yong's group, and they have a podcast that they do, and then our Merch University, which is Joe's. I am surprised it's still loading. It's not. It does not usually take this long. It's probably my Wi-Fi because we are we're in an apartment. We're gonna have an apartment Wi-Fi now because we're in an apartment. So um, yeah, TM Hunt and USPTO is the government site. You're thinking about doing printables. I've got some printables. Oh, look, okay, it's ready. ready. I've, I have some printables on here that I did from way before, you know, like coupons, you know, like um, like Valentine's Day love coupons, or uh, I have some that were like for advent calendars because I had one of those advent calendars where you open up all the little doors. And so I created little a printable that I could sell on my Etsy shop for little activities that you would fold up and put into each one of the little cubbies for the advent calendar and then each day your family opens it up and does a fun activity okay so it's showing that now it is there so we should be able to come over and look at my draft so listings 
And again, I'll, I'll link the videos on how to set all of this up um, for you guys. Here it is. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this. They put it straight into draft so that you have a chance to mess with it and make sure it all is just quite right. So you can adjust the thumbnail here. Also, you can, and this is another thing I like about um, Make Merch, is that you can go in there and create a, a lifestyle mock-up. I think Printful has that too now where you can create a, a lifestyle mock-up where you can put it on a person and make it look like a real thing. Um, okay, so about this listing, now you've got to change a few things here. So uh, who, who made this? I can I say another company or person. The reason you changed this, because I did the words on it, but I'm not going to be physically printing this shirt myself. So you're going to change this to another company or person, and you'll see this says handmade with production assistance. So it's being produced by somebody else. Um, most of this is already filled in, tank tops, they filled all that in for you. Um, here I can manually renew it, so it's 20 cents to list for four months, right? So and if I wanted to just automatically renew every month, I just click automatic, right? Um, <laughs> So then, I've already filled all this stuff out. I filled it out earlier. Now down here with production partners, and again, I have videos showing how to set all this up. Um, you have to select a you know, production partner. The reason I have it on here twice is because I did it, and then I did a video showing how to do it, so it's just the same thing on there twice, right? Okay, so tags. This is for search engine optimization. This is where you're gonna put uh, like stamp, something that a buyer would type in. I'm looking for a stamp collecting shirt for my friend or my sister. Stamp collecting gift. Uh, it's more than stamp collecting. A stamp collector gift. How about that? There we go. A stamp collecting shirt. Ah, T. Um, philatelic gift. Bill, I'm going to copy and paste that. Philatelic. It's not a word I spell all the time. Uh, philatelic tank top. Uh, geeky tank top. Hobby. Hobbyist. Hobbyist. Hobby. Hobbyist. Neither of those looks right. <laughs> so, philatelic shirt. Um, what's another one? What's another one? Postal shirt. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, totally do it, Thelma. Postal work. Yeah, postal worker. T. Oh dear. How about postal worker gift? Maybe. Um, mail. Oh, good one. Mailman. Gift. How about male person? We're gonna be PC. T a shirt. Um, enthusiast. There we go. Uh, stamp enthusiast. There. Okay. So try to get in different things that might, people might um, type in to create the shirt. Um, I don't always fill in materials. You can. Um, what is it made from? Polyester, cotton. Here we go. I'll just copy this right here. Here we go. If it'll let me. Let's see. Will it let me? No. Um, I can copy it partially. Here we go. There. Cut that. 50% polyester. No. Okay. No. Then I'm just going to leave it. Unless I just put polyester. What is the other stuff? Polyester combed ring spun cotton and then rayon. So you can put the, these things. Um, really? Okay. And then Rayon. <laughs> Just type it in. <laughs> there. Um, Letter Carrier. Have you, okay, one of my favorite books growing up is, um, One Monster After Another. And it's about this little girl who is mailing, it's a Mercer Mayer book, and the illustrations are amazing. Um, and it's about this little girl who mails a letter to her, her friend, Sarah Jane. And the letter goes through this whole series of monsters trying to get it because there's like one monster that wants to eat the letter another monster is a, a like a stamp collecting monster and wants to tear the stamp off of it and so the whole the whole series of the book and the book the letter finally makes it to her through all of this miraculous stuff and then the letter says something like 
I'm coming to visit. Nothing exciting ever happens here. Anyway, it's a good book. So, <laughs> um, so then you come down and you can uh, select like which of your shirts are visible. So let's say I get an email from Printful and they say vintage purple is no longer available. Then I can come in and just turn that off. Bah, 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 bah. Turn off vintage purple. Um, so for now, that's all good. I leave it shipping. I leave it just the way it's set. Um, I don't mess with any of that because they have it all figured out. And then I come down and I submit and it will submit it. And then let's go look in the store and see how it looks. It's not there yet. <laughs> sort, custom, sort. Let's do most recent. There we go. So, philatelic. Okay, I think I had it set for custom because I'm. there's a way to mix it up. So, anyway, there it is, um, my philatelic tank top. So, you can do that, and, and it took longer for me to do it because I'm talking through it, but if it was just me sitting here doing it, it's, you know, really, really quick um, to do that. So, I hope if you are considering it, you know, go in there, and again, I'll link the playlist. Um, I'll link it at the end of the video, too. Because uh, I have a playlist where it's, you know, setting it up, you know, make sure make sure you click these certain buttons to set up your Printful and your Etsy and just to get it all, all the whole shebang set up. Um, yeah, so again, if, if you are interested in not only print on demand, but if you like learning about new things and ways to make money, whether it's, you know, I do a lot with jewelry and smalls. Um, then make sure you do, like I say, do these three things, subscribe, join, and follow, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I go live so you can hang out in the chat with all the cool people, all the cool kids are there. Um, <laughs> if you uh, join over on Facebook, and right now I'm going to plug Merch University because that is the group that I help admin for um, print on demand, all the news and all the updates, and awesome you know sites to check out and then follow me on facebook at texas gal treasures and uh, yeah let me know down in the comment section if you have set up your printful etsy if you're doing any other um, print on demand sites and what has been your experience so that uh, i can help you if you've got any questions definitely leave a comment down below so that i can lend a helping hand y'all okay i'll talk to you guys later and have a great evening oh Oh, I forgot. I forgot to pull up my stop button. There it is. Okay. Bye, guys.